Homes are being transformed into drug dens as the heroin epidemic makes its mark on the streets of Rutland, Vermont. Up here on the left, you'll see a house that's burned down. Police Sergeant Matt Prouty has seen the problem here building for at least a decade. People fighting in the street, someone got ripped off. All the things that come with um, a dysfunctional neighborhood with a drug, with a drug problem. This 44-year-old father of four is afraid to quit because of the symptoms of withdrawal he's been using for 20 years. For people that are just starting out, it's all about the high. But when you're doing it and you've done it for a long period of time, it becomes the sickness. We met him at the Vermont Cares Needle Exchange, where Mary Catherine Charbonneau often sees generations of the same family. What does that tell you? Well, it's, it, it's, it's almost like it's the norm for them. You know, my dad shoots, so, you know, I'm going to shoot. Vermont is scrambling to get ahead of the problem. In 2014, Governor Peter Shumlin devoted his entire state of the state message to the heroin crisis. In every corner of our state, heroin and opiate drug addiction threatens us. Across Vermont, treatment for heroin use increased 64% last year. More than 400 are on waiting lists for